Hello. Me first? Okay, I'll go first. My name is Mr. Messerly, and I am your music teacher. We met last week, most of us. Um, if you weren't here last week, this is me. I'm your music teacher, and we are going to have music class. And music class is the best class ever. So, just like last week, we are going to start with the same four things. The first thing we do is sing. Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome, boys and girls. It's so nice to have you here. Welcome, boys and girls. Now, if you think that you can remember that song from uh, just hearing it from last week, can you sing it with me? So how I start songs in music class is like this. I usually say, one, two, ready, go. And then we sing. So it'll be like this. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to count to four. Then we're all going to sing together. One, two, ready, go. Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome, boys and girls. It's so nice to have you here. Welcome, boys and girls. Yes. I am so happy to get to have music class with you today. Now, the second thing we do is the hello song. I'm going to sing the hello song and do the motions. You just kind of remember it and listen, and then we'll do it again, and you'll sing it with me. Okay, here we go. Hello, how do you do? Hello, I'm glad it's you. All right, your turn. One, two. Ready, go. Hello, how do you do? Hello, I'm glad it's you. And I am glad it's you. Uh, you are just my favorite musician. And um, I will always be happy to see you in music class. Now, the third thing we do is going to be a little strange. Because the next song that we sing is, What's the weather like today? But I don't know what the weather's going to be like when you're watching this video. So your job right now is to look out the window, or maybe this way, and figure out what the weather is. Um, you're going to learn something this year called syllables. Syllables are how many claps there are in a song. For instance, if you say sunny, sunny, two syllables. Uh, or if you put your hand on your chin and say sunny, your hand moves twice. So all the words that we use to describe the weather, we try to make them two syllables, like cloudy, sunny, rainy, foggy, windy, snowy. So look out your window. and figure out what the weather is. Then I will help you by singing the question. Okay, for instance, it'll be something like this. What's the weather like today, sunny? But I need you to sing that part. So I'll do this, and you can sing whatever weather the weather is like where you are right now. Okay, what's the weather like today? Did you get it? I know you did, because, like, you're amazing. Uh, okay, so the fourth thing we do at the beginning of every music class is we move our bodies. We're going to move our bodies to the song Groove With Me, which we did last week. And it's one of my favorite songs to move bodies to because it tells you what to do. So I'm going to put my phone on and play the song. And hopefully the sound level will be okay. I'm just kind of guessing that it will be loud enough. Or and hopefully not too loud. So get up out of those chairs like this. There goes my chair. And I want to start over. I want to see you march, I want to see you march with me. There 
Cards, just make up your own dance. Fight. Listening, it's not over. Make up your own dance. Move those feet. <laughs> right, bring jet hands. That is never not fun, which by which I mean it's always fun to get to move our bodies. But I need to drink of water after that. Okay, let's get to the songs we're going to sing today. We're going to start kindergarten music class for real with a trip to the farm. We're actually going to be going to the farm every week for our, for a while now. I'm not gonna come and pick you up and drive you to an actual farm. This is gonna be a musical farm of our imagination. I like that. First song is gonna be called Going to the Farm. I'm gonna use this, the musical mustache, otherwise known as a recorder, to give us the starting note or starting pitch. Pitch is how high or low the note you're singing is. So this is a pitch. This is a higher pitch. This is a lower pitch. Just a little something to think about. Okay. Close. Going to the farm. Going to the farm. Wonder who we'll meet today. We're going to the farm. You'll learn that song because we'll sing it every time we go to the farm. Okay, the first animal that we are going to meet. Hmm. Let's give you some clues. Ooh, I'm shaking the video. Sorry. Clues, clues, clues. An animal that you might see on the farm. Hmm. Cheetah? No. And here's why. A cheetah is more of a wild animal, jungle animal, or even a zoo animal. Not a farm animal. Hmm. Farm animal. T-Rex. No. 
T-Rexes are not farm animals um, for a couple reasons. I think the most important reason is, is that they would eat all the other farm animals. And um, there are you know, dinosaurs aren't around anymore. How about we think more things like cow? <gasps> is it a cow? Ooh. It's not a cow. This is an animal that likes to swim and yet is still on a lot of farms. What's your guess? It does have four letters. Very good. That's a good question. Four letters. So an animal that likes to swim, it has webbed feet. Webbed feet. It is a duck. Our first animal at the farm is a duck. We have a song for that too. Because that's what we do. Okay, it goes like this. Listen to the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Listen to the ducks go quack, quack, quack. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the duck go quack, quack, quack. Did you notice that there were a couple things that we repeated or said over and over again? One of them was the sound the duck makes. Quack, quack, quack. Every time I quacked, I quacked three times. Quack. Quack, quack. Your job is to do the quacks for me. I'm going to mouth the word quack, but I'm not going to make the quack sound. That's your job. You're a duck. Are you ready? <laughs> anyway, better question. Mr. Messerly, are you ready? Maybe. Okay. Listen to the ducks go. Listen to the ducks go. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the ducks go. Does that make sense? So you should be in your room right now quacking. But not just random quacking. Quacking to the steady beat. Quack, quack, quack. One more time. Listen to the ducks go. Listen to the ducks go. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the ducks go. Nice job. But wait, there's more. What if we turn the quack into a clap? Like this. Listen to the ducks go. Listen to the ducks go. All day long they sing their songs. Listen to the ducks go. So that's what I need you to do. We're turning the quacks into a clap. Actually, and, and I don't. I actually don't want you to quack. Zip lips. Turn the hands on. Okay, here we go. Listen to the ducks go. Listen to the ducks go. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the ducks go. Nice. So, so good. You guys are amazing. Um, so here's the thing that we will try to do um, next time. I would like to turn the claps into an instrument. Um, well, I mean, clapping is an instrument. Banging two things together that makes sound. But I want to keep working on turning the quacks to claps to snaps, rhythm sticks. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. All right, my friends. Now. Oh, I forgot my guitar. Shucks. That's okay. We can do it, do it without. There's a famous song, maybe the most famous farm song um, that I like to do after we meet an animal. It's called Old McDonald. The musical mustache of music. Old McDonald. Now we're only going to do one animal for Old McDonald because we've only met one animal. Each time we meet a new animal, the song will get longer. And by the end of our trip to the farm, it'll be like the Old McDonald you're probably used to singing. Are you ready? I'm going to... Um, kind of guess that you know the song. If you don't know it, just listen. 
uh, and you'll know it within a couple weeks. It's not a big deal. Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Did you know the song already? Raise your hand if you knew the song already. Cool. And again, even if you didn't know it, you'll know it like by next week or the week after. Whew. I'm gonna take five second break. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm back. So have you noticed that I have been using a couple different voices? I have been using my speaking voice, possibly too much, but I've also been using my singing voice. Now, we're gonna talk a lot about the different kinds of voices that we as human beings have. But the one we're gonna talk about most is our singing voice. <clears throat> one of the best ways to start discovering your singing voice is to use your high voice your low voice, and your middle voice. Uh, the middle voice is kind of like your talking voice. So let's practice. How are we gonna practice, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, we are going to practice by becoming animals. Aminals. Animals? Animals. Okay, so this will eventually be a game, but for now, let's just practice our animals. So we're gonna start with Kitty cats. Okay, so we're gonna have to do our best kitty cat sounds. Now our kitty cat sound is gonna be using our high voice. Cause we all have a high voice. So let's do our best cat sounds. You ready? One, two, ready, go. Meow, 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 meow. How was your cat voice sound? Did the people in your house look at you like, what are they doing over there? I was a cat, obviously. <laughs> okay, how about a cow? Cows have low voices. Are you ready? Let's do our low moo. One, two, ready, go. Moo. Also, for some reason, think that cows talk slow. I don't know why. So we did a high and a low voice. Um, how about what's a good middle voice animal? I'm gonna say horse, although I may change my mind. Let's just say nay, nay. All right. So that we're gonna say nay in our speaking voice, except for we're gonna speak like a horse. All right, you ready? One, two, ready, go. Nay, nay, nay. Now, should it be a high voice? Nay, no, I kinda like, I kinda like our middle, our regular uh, speaking voice for a horse. Nay, nay, nay. Might be more of a goat sound. I don't know, tell me next week. Okay. I have another low sound. Um, we're gonna become whales. Whales, the largest, I think it's just the largest animal, largest mammal alive on earth right now. They're huge. Um, and they have these amazing songs that they can sing in the water and it travels, the sound travels through the water for, I don't know, really, really far. They use low sounds. So we're just gonna go. Is that what whales sound like? Yes. It's, it's as much as a whale sound as I can make. If you're better at making whale sounds, go for it. All right, so like make a mm sound, but as low as you can. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 
Because it's fun to be a whale, too. Um, I had a whale of a good time. Did you? So let's go through real quick and practice our high, middle, and low voices. Cat. Meow. Horse. Nay. Really is probably good. Uh, cow. Whale. We'll add some different animals next time. Okay, so now that you're starting to discover that your voice can go high down low, that's going to be our first step to learning how to find a singing voice. But there's a lot more to music than just singing. You're going to want to learn how to move your body. Uh, for instance, dancing is like is a form of music because um, you're moving your body to the beat. But playing an instrument like this, which is, all right, can anyone guess? If you know what it is, say it out loud. It's a tambourine. So it's like a drum, but with these extra metal things. Jingle. So you hit it with your hand, and it vibrates. But when the whole drum vibrates, it also vibrates these little metal things, and it makes a jingly jangly sound. So the point I'm making about needing to learn how to move your body to the beat is that if we're singing a song, um, like listen to the ducks. Listen to the ducks go. I have to move my body to the beat. The beat is the steady pulse or steady heartbeat of every song. So what we're going to do is practice moving our bodies. We're going to do that by doing shake and freeze. While I'm shaking, I will say shake, 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 freeze. And when I say freeze, you have to freeze. But we're not going to just shake our whole bodies. Well, at least not first. What we're going to do is we're going to shake different parts of our bodies. For instance, let's try it. I think you'll probably want to get out of your chair for this. Okay, so let's shake just our hand first, okay? As I say shake, shake your hand. When I say freeze, you stop. Then I'll tell you the next part of your body to move. Okay, here we go. We're going to shake our hand. One, two, ready, go. Shake. Okay, let's try shaking our foot. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Shake, 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 shake. Put that, put that, shake it out. Okay, let's see. What else can we shake? Um, our shoulders. Let's shake our shoulders. One, two, ready, go. Shake. Freeze. Okay. Elbows. Like your wings. Flap like a bird if you want. One, two, ready, go. Shake. 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 Freeze. Not bad. Can't trick these kids, these people. Okay, we're going to shake our head. Do it gently. I don't want you to, like, you know, hurting your neck or anything. But, um, so like this. Shake or like shake. One, two, ready, go. Shake. 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 Okay. Now we're going to do it. Just like our whole body. We're going to body shake. Are you ready? Shake. All right, now, put it all together. You're going to shake every single thing that you can shake. 
toes, nose, ears, fingers, arms, legs, all of it. Shake it all. One, two, ready, go. Breathe. I hope you like that. That was fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, my friends. That is our music class for today. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with Mr. Messerly and making music. We did all our intro songs. Um, welcome, boys and girls. Hello. What's the weather like today? We moved our bodies. We sang Going to the Farm, Listen to the Ducks, and we turned our claps and our quacks into claps. We sang Old MacDonald, but just with one animal. We used our different animals. Uh, we used different animals to practice our high, middle, low voice. And we practiced moving all our different parts of our body. So not bad. Um, I'm, go I, I'm gonna sing the goodbye song now. I just made up this goodbye song, so I hope you like it. Um, that's it. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye. Oh, no, that's, see, it's the first time I ever sang a song. I messed up. You know what happens if you make a mistake in music? Nothing. Everyone makes mistakes. I will make a mistake almost every single class. I don't know. It's fine. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, boys and girls. I'll see you soon, and I can't wait. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, boys and girls. If you need anything, don't forget. You can message me anytime. Next week... This bullseye that you can find on Clever will take you to a Google Meet and we'll do a bunch of these songs, you know, together. All right. I love you. I love being your music teacher and I will see you next week. Bye.